there's nothing to blame. And of course he is. And it's okay. He's not for me. And I don't believe he's for nobody but Sandy. But see, if he was to really do his research, I promise you, Sandy's name is probably in his paperwork. Also, for instance, when I got off the plane, Sandy was texting Evelyn and telling her that she should press charges on Polygod. That's not odd to you? Bet. Sandy was texting off the phone that Polygod bought her and telling Sandy, well, Sandy was telling Evelyn to press charges. And then when the police came, she told the police she don't know and that she was asleep. And he got mad. But fast forward to the end of the night, I'm fighting somebody. I do need gadgets help. I want to get away from here. And I don't never want to see that man again. Ever. In my life. Ever. Because see, for instance, let's just say that Philly, if Philly want to fight him or whatever, I wouldn't let Philly fight him and then bring Philly in the house and then act confused as to why they still fighting. Like, we fought outside. She said she texted me. I'm going to text her. I'm going to get off her in a couple minutes. How did I storyline? I'm not even a host. I think he's mentally ill. And it hurts the most because everybody told me not to come. Everybody. My mama did. And she told me before I got home. She told me not to go. And she told me. And I don't never listen to nobody. I never do. I don't never listen to nobody. <laughs> he did. And I, I, I felt like he was going to do something. I knew. But a part of me was like, no. Things going to be different. We just going to work on the baby. Da, 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 da. <laughs> he's evil. I genuinely <laughs> feel like he's evil. <laughs> guys but before i stop make sure you smash that like button also if you're not subscribed to the channel you do so making sure that that notification bell is on with the option off so please leave a comment on what you think of leah aka from big go the ratchet big O chick who starts up all of this smoke online and she also takes it offline from time to time she put herself she put her her small child in danger trying to see Polly God, who is a man that does polygamy. He likes to be with more than one woman. And what would make you think? Well, I guess she just allegedly found out that he was living, not staying with his mother when he got out of jail, but staying with a girl. Um, and the female prior to her even coming to New York did not want her coming to the apartment. She knew Leah did that the girl um, was living with Polly God before she went to New York to see her baby daddy for the first time. So Polly God could see his daughter, alleged daughter that they had together. Um, but I think that Leah was chasing the eggplant. And she got more than what she bargained for. She got into an altercation with the female who um, is involved with uh, Polly God. There's a few of them. So we, we're not going to really get into uh, the females because they're not relevant. The, the people that narrated this whole um, drama is Leah and Polly God. Polly God is also one of Nature Boy's flukies. I think that he tried to follow in his footsteps of being polygamy because of Nature Boy liking the lifestyle that Nature Boy was doing. But Nature Boy is now in jail for life. Um, and Polly God is not far behind him. So let me just give you some backstory. Why are you going, Leah, to New York to see Polly God when you allegedly are saying that Polly God is the baby's father of your child, but you also got him locked up for the R word? He did some time because of Leah, a.k.a. his alleged baby's mother, because she accused him of the R word. But yet and still, you don't think Somebody is trifling is Polygod. We all know he likes to troll and he's he's all down with the get down and the get back for clout. 
why would you go see the biggest clout chaser that you know has a vendetta for you? Whether he's trying to play cool, calm, and collective or not, that's because he wants to stay out of jail. Why would you go see him after you just put this man in jail for the R and think that you wasn't going to either leave out of there in handcuffs or still can leave out of there if you're not out of there soon because she's still in New York as we speak at the same spot where she is in danger and her child's in danger. But why would you go to New York with the enemy, trying to sleep with the enemy, sleeping with the enemy, which is Polly God? You don't think something was going to happen? This was all set up to get you back for putting him in jail, for accusing him of something that you later on said on your platform that you work on that it was a lie it was made up but he served time for the allegations that you brought against him which was the r word you don't think that he was going to get you back let's not act foolish she was my friend she just picked a fight before she dropped me off started arguing with me over nothing pretty much we get to fighting she pretends she have a knife act like she's gonna stab me so i get out of the car and she act like i'm scared of her because she pretends she have a knife then we get back in the house she ran out the room and just stick me in my i didn't even know she was in the room she ran out the room and stick me in my face mind you he was in the room with her she's so surprised and it's cool. he did it he's doing it on purpose he's trying to get people locked up he's doing it on purpose who brings their child to see a buster baby daddy who don't have any money you guys are taking ubers and lifts to go to eat or go to the amusement park or whatever you guys were doing the little less than 24 hours you was in new york the dude came um to you on the internet like he wanted to be about peace and war he wants to see his daughter he wants to get a maternity test y'all didn't even do none of that in the 24 hours that you were there y'all are just starting storylines and doing this at the expense of having a little child there that could have been put into danger for a storyline for some beans that equivalent to money like make it make sense <clears throat> he's doing it on purpose mm -hmm. the same one that picked me up from the airport the same one that said i'm watching baby for you and all that we get to fighting we get to, I'm not ignoring it. I'm telling you what happened. Because when I get off here, I'm going to go on Discord and ask what happened and say all these lies that never happened. Y'all are asking what happened. I never said I was ignoring her. I'm telling y'all what happened. I don't already said I'm going to get off here in a few minutes. Relax. Exactly. He wants my baby to be his and Sandy's. Oh, girl, bye. He don't I don't want none of his kids. My because for me and you to get in a fight and then you be with my baby daddy like that, and then she already told me when she picked me up from the airport that she was in his messages telling him that she wanted to do content over nothing. First, like, literally, like, the, the, I was in the back seat, she was in the front seat. I don't even know why. In the car, she started trying to tell me, trying to check me over the minute. The you was in the apartment acting like you was fun too. What is there to check me over? And another thing, one thing I don't like about you act like somebody. I'm going to put it to you just like this. If you think and your red line, that you gonna put your hands on me probably in the room that she rent because she don't have an apartment she rents a room the same room that pretty party next door pretty next door was staying in the basement pretending to live in the basement that's where she rents a room from an illegal apartment why would i be antagonizing him when did y'all see me antagonize him she's looking for content this is the girl from the airport when did y'all ever see me no, they're looking to jump you, set you up because of what you did to Polly God. You took that man's freedom, saying the R word. Then you got blatantly online when he got out. You guys made friends ever since he got back online when he got out of jail. And he ever since, this is just my opinion, has been on, uh, I'm going to get her back. She took my freedom away. You can't be trusted, nor can your baby's father. I wouldn't even trust neither one of you guys around your own child. You're both trifling. She is such a fire starter. She needs to stop for somebody unalives her. And I hate to say it, but she's not moving. And she has not moved in the right way since I've been watching Nature Boy and ran into her platform. She's very messy. Girl, get it together.